<laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Good afternoon and welcome to the Rangers Rabble. I am Alan. I'm joined by Cammy and Brian. Gents, how are you? Very good, mate. Yeah, good. Thanks. Good. Welcome along. So, breaking news coming out of Rangers this afternoon. Um, we have completed the signing to John Lundstrom from Sheffield United and a free transfer. Uh, Cammy, give us your knowledge. What do you know about him? Uh, well, I think uh, it's been well known. <laughs> we need to recruit in the middle of the park. I think he's sort of right-sided, uh, sort of eight, as the, 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 the tactical boards would call him. Uh, very similar, I think, to where Arfield played in the, his sort of best forum last season. So that's where I would expect him. He's, he's big, strong, will suit the Scottish game. I think the first season with Sheffield United, he had a goal threat as well. So I think that's something for the middle of the park that we've that we've lacked. So for a for a free transfer signing, I think it's uh, an excellent piece of business. Yeah, Brian, do you think this is the kind of player that we need to bring in? Do you think this? Is... <coughs> I've always said that I hoped it wasn't a replacement for Kamara, but I. I'm starting to fear now that could be the case. Um, he's obviously quite a high action, sort of high combative sort of player. So, yeah, I'm kind of thinking, fearing now this could be the the starting of the Kamara exit. But I hope not. But well, we'll see. Yeah, I, I kind of I, I've got I kind of got that sneaky suspicion myself. Um, I've seen that um, some people think he's just you know the Zunga thing didn't work out, so this guy's coming into the place Zunga. Um, but I, I do. I've got this wee sneaky feeling as well that it's the start of Kamara's exit. Um, but time will tell, I suppose. If if we've signed a, a player that's that's got that experience in the Premier League for nothing, and we sell Kamara for whatever we sell him for, um, you know, hopefully it's a brilliant piece of business. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're selling somebody for well, what it's ten, fifteen million, you've only bought him for fifty thousand, then you're getting a guy in a fee. It's a great bit of business, but I mean. Yeah, I've, I, I wasn't. I was kind of feeling re this replacement was coming, but it seems to be the case now. But to be honest, yeah. with you, I think I think yeah, this this deal would probably still have happened, uh, even if Kamara does uh, mm -hmm. does depart. I think we needed a couple of bodies of a decent quality in the middle of the park. I think Kamara's had a fantastic uh, Euro, so I think there's going to be a lot of interest over the, the next few weeks, but. It's, it's the opposite side of the park for Kamara, you know. So I think I know I know what you're saying, Brian, but I, f I don't think um, it necessarily means that Kamara's definitely leaving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, th I think either way, you're right, with Cami. We've been linked with this guy now for what seems like forever. Um, so he's he's obviously somebody that Gerard's been tracking long before um, the talk of Kamara leaving. So. So hopefully that hopefully Kamara will stay and hopefully Lundstrom comes in and, and offers um offers back up to that and support to that and bolsters the squad. But we'll see what we'll see how that goes. So he's I've had a wee, a wee look into his profile. Um so he started off at in the youth setup um and before he had multiple loan spells across the yeah. lower leagues in England, um, including Doncaster Rovers, where he won League One, um, signed for Oxford United and then signed for Sheffield United for I've seen two different fees. One says five hundred thousand, the other seven hundred thousand. But this is a guy that's played over two hundred, two hundred. He's twenty-seven years old. He's got two, over two hundred senior appearances. Sixty-two of them are in the Premier League, or sixty-three, something like that. Cam, is is that the kind of that excellent experience that we can add to our squad? Aye, definitely. And I, th I think to be honest, no disrespect to, to Sheffield United, I mean, he's probably came to prominence in the last couple of years, but the expectation for we're going to dominate games that he's not been used to. So I think he's, he's coming into a side that's going to dominate possession 70% of games. He's got, a, as you say, the, the pedigree's there. He's at a good age. You know, I mean, 20, 27 is a, a great age to pick him up, approaching his uh, approaching the sort of peak, the peak in his career. So hopefully we're going to get the best of him over the next, uh, the next few years. But it's um, it's exciting. It's, it's brightened up my Monday. I must confess. Of course, I, I was surprised, Brian. I don't know if you were, but I was quite surprised to see to see that he was English. Um, <laughs> apparently, so um, maybe the name just threw me off. Um, yeah. Do, as Cami says, he's sort of going to be reaching the peak of his career. Um, is this another sign in that that he might be thinking as an English player? Um, you know, come to Rangers for a couple of seasons, do well in. Well in Europe, and he'll, he could maybe head back to the Premier League and 
and, and pick up a, a top six, six, seven, eight team. I think there's, I think guys coming from the Premier League are always thinking that they're either stale or they've reached a an end line at a club and they're thinking right, go somewhere else, reinvent themselves, do well, and then go back down. You know, I think that's a lot of them are thinking that. You know, and I don't think Lundstrom's any different. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Really don't. Yeah, no, you, you can't blame some of these players. Um, you know, they've no real affiliation to, to, to Rangers, so if they, if they do want to come in and, and use that as an opportunity, then, then fair play to them, because if they get their move, much like if Gerard gets his big move to Liverpool as a manager, it means they've been successful up here. Yeah. Cammy, with Lundstrom being a scouser, he was at Everton's youth team, he's a Liverpool fan, I believe. Do you think the Gerard effects will came into play again here? I think so. I think I read... Uh... Some of the comments for Phil Lundstrom, I've, I've not picked up at, at all, but I think he's from the, the same area in Liverpool as the, the manager. And I think something that Ross Wilson said um, about Stephen Gerrard being an excellent ju judge of a midfield player. You know, I mean, it's it's an area of the park that we've, we've not. I mean, it's another free transfer. We've not spent a we've hardly spent a penny on the. The, the players that were brought in the middle of the park. Do you know what I mean? I think it's uh, testimony to the work that uh, Ross Wilson and uh, the, the the scouting department that we've got. You know, I mean, it's it's uh, the recruitment over certainly the last eighteen months to two years has been has been spot on. But who would do want to play for Stephen Gerrard? You know, I mean, he's still looking for another midfield player, so he, he's got my number, so he knows where I am. <laughs> I think he was. I think he said he wanted to work under. Gerard and a. McAllister, so that was a big pull. Yeah, uh, again, I saw the conversation on Twitter last night. Sorry, I can't remember who was having it. Um, if you're in the comments, if you're watching this and it was you that was having the conversation, please let us know. Um, somebody said that uh, who's who better to judge a midfield player than, than Gerard and McAllister? Yeah. They're, they're, they're doing their best of their generation, certainly, certainly yeah. in England and in Britain. Um, yeah. And, you know, the argument's here for both of them across Europe as well. So, you can under, you start to understand that when you put it in that perspective, you can sort of start to understand why our recruitment, particularly in the midfield, has been so good over the whole, since since they guys both came to the club. Um, they obviously have an eye for that type of role. They know exactly what they want for players for that type of role. So, so it'll be interesting to see how else we recruit. Which brings me to my next point, Brian. Where else do you think we do need to recruit now? I mean. It's difficult to say now. It's more about getting guys on their contracts signed up, as as Kami and I have said. It's Goldson and you know Kamara, are they, are they going to sign? It all it all hinders on what they're going to do. If, if if we lose them, then obviously, big money. Do we sign more guys or do we go we go who we've got? You know, um, but I think that it does hinder on what happens with Kamara and Goldson. To be quite honest. Yeah, um, I, I think that's it's something that we've spoke about in the pod multiple times. I, yeah. I think recruitment's going to hinder on who leaves, um, which is understandable. We had such a good squad last season with the exception of you know, one or two players who struggled to break in. They're away now. Um, good luck to them. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's, it's about who we're, going to, who we're going to miss because, if, you know, if somebody like Kamara does go or Goldson, if he doesn't sign this contract and we sell him, Kami, I know that'll probably break your heart. Um, but, <laughs> you know, that's the type of player we're going to have to replace. Is it interesting that because it's, it's interested me that we've no really with a centre forward like an out and out striker. Does that maybe say something about Gerard's? Gerard, I mean, they may very well be looking at, at centre forwards and we don't know about it, Cami. Does that maybe say something about Gerard's confidence that Morelos isn't going anywhere anytime soon? I hope so. Um, I think I would still, going back to your, your initial question, I, I would still look to bring in another body in the middle of the park. Somebody that's a wee bit different, you know, just somebody that just has a different, a different style. I've seen a couple of people in the comments talking about um, Lundstrom being a replacement for Zungu. Don't think it is. Per only my personal opinion. I would love to see young Stephen Kelly back from his um, various loans as the sort of cover for Zungu uh, within the squad. I, I think yeah. it's the t it's time for these young guys to. To this summer, I'll, I'll make a break. Uh, yeah. I think Stephen Kelly's Rangers career. If he do, if he goes out and loan again, I don't, I don't see, I don't any see, see any way back for him. Forwards, I've been linked with a sort of right-sided attacker. I think 
um, rather than a an old an old fashioned number nine. That's not to say that they don't have a they don't have a, a list if uh, fifteen to twenty million comes in in the next few weeks for Morelos. But I genuinely don't see us getting that fee from Porto. They traditionally don't spend that sort of money. Um, so I think Morelos himself might fancy the move. He's, his agent certainly fancies the move because he's doing a hell of a job uh, walking him about um, across there just now. But um, I think we'll keep Morelos. The two that worry me, and I've, I, I am very worried about Conor Golson. Uh, and the longer this drags on, I, I really hoped that the manager was going to be asked about it um, in the RTV interview at the weekend, but they, they never they never broached that subject. And Kamara. I would love to know how many clubs have inquired about him because uh, he had a fantastic time at the Euros. But um, I think a middle of the park, another middle of the park player, definitely for me. When's Kamara's contract up? It's two years, I think. Two years. Two years. I wasn't sure yeah. of that myself, actually. I thought for some I reason think, I thought it was next summer. But... I think, to be honest, I think we've been trying to, Gerard spoke about this at the start of the year, we've been trying to get him tied to a an improved contract because I don't believe he's one of the he's one of the highest paid, um, yeah. and I think that's obviously dragged on and on. And I think we wanted to get the deal done before he went to the Euros, and you see what's <laughs> you see what's happened. He's went to the Euros, he's tore it up, and clubs are going to be off him probably ten times his current wage. Yeah, yeah. I think what's what's interesting, but just to bring the conversation back to Lundstrom a wee bit, um, what's interesting about the comments and what I've seen on Twitter. You know, it tends to be when we sign a player, any club signs a player these days, there's when, on social media, there's the people that think it's fantastic and the people that have their doubts and their reservations about the signing. I've not seen that for Lundstrom yet, Brian. Yeah. I don't know if you, I don't know if you maybe have, but I've not seen I've not seen anybody come out and go, oh, I don't think this guy's good enough to play with Rangers. I mean, I kind of say I'll watch them week in, week out, but is, is that a positive sign that, that supporters who maybe do watch the Premier League week in, week out, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Um, obviously, the, the Premier League's worldwide, so everybody gets to see whatever games live and you know whatever. But I mean, I think it is positive. That everybody's thinking he's up for it. So, um, and that, he's 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 he struggled last year with Sheffield, but I think that was just purely because of the 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 way the club was and who they were signing and the manager was not. I think he left eventually after half the season. So. Obviously, the new club, the new club mentality in the Premier League, they, they, they either do really well or they struggle really badly. And his Sheffield United team did really well the first season. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I think, yeah, I mean, he's at the right age. He's he's high energy, combative. I think, yeah, it's it's just what we're probably looking for in that middle of the park. To be honest. It's, and, it's, and funny, Callum, Alan, it's yeah. funny you saying that. I was scrolling down my my Twitter. Brilliant signing, fantastic signing, well done Rangers. And it's like, I, I don't know, other than when we won the league, I don't think I've ever uh, I've ever seen a, my timeline as positive with regard mm -hmm. to with regard to a signing. You know, it's um, it's 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 great, and it's just the way that we're going about our recruitment is just. I think there's so much work going on behind the behind the scenes, led by Ross Wilson, and. The Andy Schoolding and and the whole the whole setup, you know, it's um, I, I, he's he's a signing I think will fit into the Scottish game perfectly. But I think also it just adds that wee bit of um, ex, a bit of experience. Last season, Arfield's injured, Jack's injured. You know, you, you're relying a heck of a lot on Davis and Davis yeah. and Kamara. You know, and I think you can then. We all want Ryan Jack fully fit. We all want Scotty Arfield fully fit. But I think you're adding another player that if if Jack drops out, Lundstrom comes in or Lundstrom yeah. drops out and Jack mm -hmm. comes in, it just the, the level won't drop when somebody else comes in, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think it gives us more flexibility in sort of um, resting players as well for like European football midweek and then league game at the weekend or cup games. It just gives us more flexibility. As you say, the quality is not going to go down whoever comes in or who goes out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely right. It does. It gives us so many options. It's, it, the, the one thing that crept into my head there, just as you were talking, Cam, you mentioned previously, um, you'd like to see somebody like Stephen Kelly come in. 
does that look more and more like Stephen Kelly's probably going to go back out and loan this season? Possibly, possibly. But I've always thought that the young guys can only do what they can in training and the like the Partick Thistle game tonight, any opportunities that they're going to get. The manager may at this point on the, the 5th of July think I'm going to send Stephen Kelly out and loan. But Stephen Kelly over the next three or four weeks can mm -hmm. bust his guts in training and, and really impress when he's given the opportunity and, and change the, the manager's mind. I just hope it I just hope it doesn't happen. I I just think that there's, there's he's a good enough young talent to um to supplement uh and get opportunities in the League Cup and what have you. You're not telling me that Stephen Kelly couldn't have offered the same that uh, Zungu did in the second uh, second half of last season. I don't think keeping him and not putting him out on loan will harm him though. I think that'll help him because he'll be training with the guys regular, you know, getting yeah. to know how it works. So I don't think it'll I don't think I don't think it'll hinder him staying um as as far as going as loaning him, you know. Yeah, I just I just think he might benefit from senior football. But you're right; he's got he's going to be around top class players if he does stay. So it might not hinder him. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about how everybody thinks it's a fantastic piece of business. There's always one person, Ian. That's just a matter of opinion. We're all entitled to it. Hopefully, I hope with the bottom of my heart, you're wrong. <laughs> um, we'll see how see, that I, goes. I was just talking about everybody being positive. <laughs> <laughs> you jinxed it. You jinxed it. <laughs> Uh, Cammy mentioned the Rangers are back in action tonight against Partick Thistle. I cannot wait. I know it's going to be a, a training exercise for probably both teams, so it won't be the most exciting game. We'll maybe see a whole host of players. Maybe Lundstrom might make a, a cameo appearance at some point. I doubt it, but you never know. Um, we will have a match reaction pod at 9 o'clock this evening after the game, so be sure to join the guys on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. And if you've not already done it, folks, please follow us subscribe to us, share us, like us on all your social media platforms, tell your Rangers supporting pals about the Rangers Rabble. We are growing every week. We're looking to provide content throughout the season on all things Rangers. The youth team, we'll talk about the women's team, we'll talk about international football. Um, we've got our website, rangersrabble.co.uk. Please make sure to check that out. There's going to be loads of contents and content in that coming up in the next few weeks. Um, but thank you again for joining us at Short Notice on a Monday afternoon. Gentlemen, Cami, Brian, thank you for Cheers. joining me again. Short notice, I appreciate that, but uh, thanks no for coming on and having a quick chat about Rangers' new signing. Good luck to John Lundstrom uh, for his Rangers yeah. career, and let's hope that it's uh, it's the excellent signing that most of us, other than Ian, thinks it's going to be. <laughs> thanks, guys, and we'll uh, enjoy the, enjoy the game tonight. We'll do. Cheers. 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 Cheers.